My name is Cyril, and what I do is magic. I discovered magic when I was about six or seven years old. Uh, close friends of the family took me to Las Vegas, and I saw a Vegas show. It was the first time I've ever seen magic in my life. That's when I knew I wanted to become a magician. Many people ask me, how did I become a professional magician? Well, it's kind of funny because my passion for the art of magic was so strong that I did magic everywhere, anytime. Um, I did it at friends' houses, parties, and eventually people asked me to make appearances at, and do performances at their events or their parties. After a while, I kind of reflected back at my life and I realized that I had already become a professional magician. Uh, when I came to Japan at the age of 16, I didn't know anybody here. I didn't know anyone in magic. I came here like a white canvas, ready to be painted. And I seeked out magic organizations here in Japan and soon became friends with uh, many well-respected known magicians. So I had been living in Japan for about seven, eight years at this point, and um, I've been doing magic everywhere and anywhere. And I went, one day got a telephone call from a producer friend of mine that I met at a party. And he said, hey, Cyril, um, I've just been allocated a two-hour spot for television. Can you do magic like David Blaine does on TV? And I said, yes. <laughs> and um, that's how I got my first opportunity to be on television. Up to date, I've done 15 two-hour television specials here in Japan. And... Um, Many people ask me how I come up with so much material. When we create our specials, um, I don't sit at my desk. I don't sit in front of a pad with, a, with paper and pen trying to force ideas out. I just go out. I go out and I have fun. I do what everyone else does. I you know, go shopping. I check what's, what's, what's in, what's, um, what's not um, on the internet. I talk to friends. And by doing so, just living life, I get inspired for new ideas. When you work with people you've never worked with before, it's good and bad. Often you have to um, share ideas that sometimes conflict. Not everyone agrees with what you're thinking. But that's a good thing as well, because sometimes I can't see things when I'm in it. and your friends or the people that you work with often can see it at a different perspective and so trust others I think that's that's what I would have to say make sure every time you have an idea you put it down on paper or your or your phone or your computer whatever it is and you compose a list and I found it really helpful that when I start coming up with new ideas like if I was given a subject or a topic to work around, then I go back to my notes and I pull out everything that has to do with that particular subject or topic and the routine just starts to form itself. Magic on the internet I think is a good thing. Uh, you can do no wrong having magic on the internet. I think because of the internet, uh, magic has become even more popular worldwide. I owe a big part of my success to YouTube and the internet. If it wasn't for the internet, I would not be where I am today. The internet has really revolutionized the world, as you know. Um, like, for instance, right now, we are connected because of the internet. And EMC is offering this wonderful opportunity. When I, I wish that there was even functions like EMC when I was growing up in magic. When I was growing up, information was unavailable. I had to go to the library or you had to manifest it in order to create it. In my perfect dream show, I would want my audience to be laughing, to be crying, to be going through an emotional journey. And I want them to leave the theater with something that will be left with them for the rest of their life. Magic is everything to me. I don't know anything else but magic. I would be lost without magic in my life. Uh, magic is about passion, it's about friendship, it's about people, it's about making a change, it's about making an impact. Um, 
Magic, to me, is a way of life. For years, I've been doing magic on my own. I've never really had any guidelines of what to follow, of how magic should be done. There are no rules in magic. I've always done magic the way that I believed that magic should be performed. Um, I tried not to follow other people's footsteps, but to try to create my own. And um, for years, I've um, not attended magic convention conventions and um, not really told my story. And I'm really looking forward to um, EMC and sharing my stories with the rest of the world.